Women will never know. That'll be the hip tag. There's kind of difference, and that's a hip thing. You're joining me in the second wardrobe of the third spare bedroom of Prince Andrew's house, the Royal Lodge. He's having a party. It's not what I was expecting. For the 12 days of Christmas, I'm doing a video every day about aspects of film or TV that I think are interesting or effective. Today, we're starting with a straight story. <laughs> a simple, heartfelt film from David Lynch, based on the real-life 240-mile journey committed to by Alvin Strait in order to see his sick brother. The straight story is Richard Farnsworth's last film role, and it's very simple. Alvin decides to visit his brother, Lyle, who has just had a stroke. The problem? Alvin isn't in great shape himself, and is unable to drive. Dot dot dot. A car. The rest of the plot is simply Alvin's journey. There's no antagonist. It is, who'd have thought it, very straightforward. Got a wife back there? Kids? My wife Frances delivered 14 babies. Seven of them made it. Its simplicity is well crafted. Its characters are compellingly real and very well acted. Its sound design by Lynch himself, is subtly powerful, and I could go on. But what I really wanted to mention was the flashbacks, or really the absence of visual flashback. A lot of the straight story's character building, and a really good deal of the drama, comes through its flashbacks, which would have been so easy to do almost with wavy lines and a strumming harp. My mom and dad darn near killed herself trying to make that farm work. And me and Lyle, are make games out of our chores. We'd dream up something about racing and wagering, and do anything to keep our mind off of the cold. Lord, it was cold. By keeping us in the moment, by allowing us not to see what literally happened, but to hear the characters describe it in their own words, Lynch provides a conduit from them to us. For example, these lines. I waited 10 minutes, it moved again, and I shot. The movement stopped. The next day, we found Cotts, headshot. He'd been working his way back toward our lines. I think a far more effective than if we had seen Alvin, played by a younger man, undertake the actions he's describing. By not doing that, by giving us a story, we see how Alvin reacts to telling it and it allows us to use our imaginations. And I think that's important in getting the impact from Alvin's experience, but also in the film maintaining its tender tone. Tomorrow, wiggle wiggle.